Hi everyone, Kat Lewis here. So the job leads I have today are all pharmacy related. I know a lot of you are looking for remote pharmacy jobs, so if you have the proper license or certification, these jobs are for you. In fact, I have six pharmacy related positions. Most of them are pharmacy tech jobs. You can earn anywhere from about $17 to over $27 per hour, and I even have a full-fledged pharmacist position, and this one pays up to $58 per hour. So we're just going to jump right into them. So the first one comes to us from Teladoc Health. Today they're looking for an Rx Fulfillment Coordinator, and I'm just scrolling down this job lead looking to see how much this job pays. Right here they tell us they'll pay $20 per hour. So they want you to have a high school diploma, as well as an active pharmacy technician certification, medical assistant certification, or licensed practical vocational nurse license. They prefer you have prior experience in a call center, and they'd like you to have at least two years experience as a pharmacy tech, medical assistant, or LPN, LVN. It's a plus if you're bilingual in English and Spanish, and you need the ability to receive work instruction and maintain department productivity standards. You have knowledge of healthcare and medical terminology with a high level of prescription medication familiarity. You're a team player, you can work independently, you have exceptional customer service skills, and you have excellent written and verbal communication skills. So what will you be doing in this job? You'll play an integral part in ensuring superior care of patients treated through Teladoc. You'll apply professional knowledge in processing prescriptions ordered by Teladoc providers. You'll support Teladoc providers and establish policies and guidelines and provide member support by phone or electronic messages. So that's pretty much it for this job. You'll be processing prescriptions, delivering exceptional service to members, providers, and pharmacies. So this is job number one. If you like this one, this one pays $20 per hour. Check out the link below for job number one. Okay, so that brings us to the second remote pharmacy job. This is with AmeriHealth Caritas. They're looking for a prior authorization technician. This is a full-time remote position. And even though it says Philadelphia, Pennsylvania right here, we scroll down a little bit and they tell us that this job is open to candidates nationwide. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. I'm just looking to see if they tell us how much this job pays and I don't see it. So I had to do a little bit of research. So I jumped on their profile on Glassdoor and I checked out the salaries and I did come across the role of a prior authorization technician, which pays between $18 and $25 per hour. But there's no way I can guarantee how much you'll earn. You'll have to negotiate that with them when working out your salary, but at least you have a starting point. So in this role, you'll be part of the Perform Rx division and you'll be responsible for assisting the prior authorization process. So you should be able to understand and apply clinical criteria for processing pharmacy and medical billing prior authorization requests. You'll be making outbound calls and taking inbound calls, speaking with physician's office for additional information and or clarification needed to process prior authorization requests. You'll also support the fraud and abuse program system oversight by reviewing medication utilization records. You'll need to keep abreast of industry trends and regulatory changes in the pharmacy industry, and you'll maintain and update internal databases. You'll enter application information, prior authorizations, and other relevant data. You'll ensure database information and appended files are current and accessible to staff, and generate reports and other information requested on a scheduled, as-needed basis. As far as requirements for this position, they'd like you to have a high school diploma or equivalent. And they also require you have an active and current National Pharmacy Technician Certification or the ability to attain one within the first 12 months of employment. And they prefer you have current and recent Pharmacy Benefit Manager, Managed Care, Hospital Pharmacy, Long-Term Care, Pharmacy, Home Infusion Pharmacy, and or Retail Pharmacy Experience. Just preferred, it's not required. They'd like you to have a knowledge of pharmacy practices, procedures, and precedents, as well as the ability to read and understand pharmaceutical information. You have a working knowledge of drug dosage forms, drug strength, generic and trade name equivalents, and you can demonstrate knowledge of federal and state laws regulations regarding provisions of pharmaceutical services. You also have a strong knowledge of specialty pharmaceuticals and the ability to multitask and prioritize your work. You're able to understand and follow established office routines, policies, and procedures, and you have good customer service skills. You're also comfortable using a computer and you must be organized and detail-oriented. So this is the second remote pharmacy job I have that has the potential to pay about $25 per hour. If you like this one, check out the link below for job number two. 
Prime Therapeutics, they're looking for a clinical pharmacy technician level two. And just looking at this job lead, I'm gonna scroll down, looking for the salary. And way down here, they tell us they'll pay between $17.15 and $25.73 per hour. And of course, you need a high school diploma or a GED, as well as certification. And they list all the certifications they are accepting right here. So as a clinical pharmacy technician level two with Prime Therapeutics, you will evaluate and authorize approval of prior authorization pharmacy requests from prescribers received by telephone and or fax. So you'll determine the appropriateness of medications, research, resolve, and document prior authorization outcomes in the pharmacy system, and communicate those medication decisions as well as selected prior authorization criteria, pharmacy benefit coverage, and formulary alternatives to physicians, physician's office staff, medical management staff, and or pharmacists. You'll also escalate requests to pharmacists when requests requires extensive clinical review or denial. You'll also monitor telephone system to ensure adequate staffing to maintain client service levels, assess training needs within the team, serve as a training resource and mentor, and demonstrate, advocate, and reinforce a positive team environment. So that's pretty much it what you'll be doing in this job. They would like you to have an active pharmacy technician licensure or registration in accordance with state requirements. If a state does not require an exam for licensure or registration, you must possess both active pharmacy technician licensure or registration in accordance with state requirements and an active national certification. They'd like you to have specialty or retail pharmacy industry experience, previous reimbursement experience, and or working experience in a health plan, healthcare setting. And of course, you need in-depth knowledge of specialty injectable prescription drugs, disease states, health plan formulary management techniques, medical terminology, and current diagnostic and reimbursement coding. You also need to be proficient in pharmacy computerized systems and software applications, and you have at least two years of dispensing or retail experience or the equivalent internal training will be substituted. So this is the third job that pays between $17.15 and $25.73 per hour. If you like this one, check out the link below for job number three. The fourth position I have is with CVS Health. They have an opening for a pharmacy technician. This is a work from home position. Actually, they have three of these jobs. They're looking to hire someone in the state of Illinois, Idaho, and Texas. And you have to live in one of these three states. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at the one in Texas. This is a full-time remote position. You do have to live in the state of Texas. And scrolling down here, I'm just looking to see how much this job pays. They'll pay between $17 and $27.90 per hour for this job. You need a high school diploma or equivalent, as well as a pharmacy technician license and or certification as required by applicable state law. They'd also like you to have six months experience working in a pharmacy, as well as six months work experience with Windows-based applications like Windows, Microsoft Office, internet navigation, and email applications. They'd like you to have six months computer keyboarding skills aptitude, and you must be able to sit or stand for your entire shift, eight to 10 hours. So in this job, you'll be part of the specialty mail order pharmacy team. You will assist in accurately reading, interpreting, and entering prescriptions into the computer system, including the calculation of doses, assignment of directions, and accepting proper insurance payment. You'll also contact doctor's offices and insurance companies to ensure the accuracy of the patient's specialty medication orders. And you may also be responsible for answering patient calls to coordinate and process new patient medication orders and reorders, which includes verifying and re-verifying benefits. So you need excellent communication skills, excellent data entry skills, and you should like working in a fast paced environment. So this is the fourth remote pharmacy job. Actually, there are three of them with CVS, one in Texas, one in Illinois, and one in Idaho. I'll put the link to all three of those positions in the description below this video. SelectQuote is looking for a nationally certified pharmacy data entry technician. This is a full-time remote position and they'll pay between $17 and $20 per hour. And I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm looking to see the kind of education and experience that they're asking for. They tell us you must be a fully licensed technician in the state of Indiana. And you must complete the required orientation and ongoing training needs as directed by the pharmacy. Now this right here, fully licensed technician in the state of Indiana, this is not my area of expertise. So I really don't know how that works as far as any kind of licensure. If you're licensed in one state, can you work out of another state? I'm not really sure. I'm assuming if you're a licensed pharmacy tech, you should know. 
So yeah, a pharmacy technician certification board license is required for this job. So what you'll be doing on a regular basis is assist licensed pharmacists in the preparation of prescriptions and other health-related products as permitted by federal, state, and local law. You'll achieve customer satisfaction by promptly processing and filling prescriptions accurately and timely through the data entry of all assigned data entry tasks. And you'll refer any questions regarding prescriptions, drug information, or health matters to a pharmacist. So yeah, you'll be doing a lot of data entry in this position. You'll also perform medication history interviews, food and drug interaction counseling, processing prescriptions, following all prescription error prevention procedures, and you'll be responsible for understanding all the applicable policies and procedures of the department necessary to perform your duties. So you'll use multiple software programs to review patient profiles and process medication orders, and those things include handwritten physician order sheets, electronic prescriptions, reorder requests, and phone order physician sheets. You'll enter correct hours of administration on prescription for automated robotic dispensing devices to fulfill and package medications, as well as spot check for errors and follow procedures for remediation. You'll also maintain patient records, verify the accuracy of patient and prescription information, and refer prescription questions to the pharmacist and supervisor. So you should have the ability to read prescription SIG codes to document information on prescriptions, third-party forms, inter-office order forms, and communication forms, as well as learn and retain information to include, but not limited to, product names and locations, as well as drug usage interactions. You should be able to enter and retrieve data from the various operating systems. Your service oriented, you can demonstrate appropriate written and oral communication skills. You have the ability to effectively interact with all levels of management, associates, clients, and the public. And of course, you need a positive attitude and you are dependable. So if you like this job, this one pays between $17 and $20 per hour. You can find the link in the description below this video. So I have another one with Select Quote. This is for a staff pharmacist PV1. This is a full-time remote position, and they'll pay between $52 and $58 per hour. Even though it says here, I think they meant hour. So in this role, you'll perform initial verification of medications and other pharmaceutical supplies to dispense prescriptions issued by physicians, dentists, and other qualified prescribers. So this is a full-on pharmacist kind of position. You'll operate within professional standards and in compliance with federal, state, and legal regulations. You'll verify that all prescription and health-related product orders are processed in accordance with state, federal, and local laws. Ensure prompt and courteous customer service by all pharmacy associates and assist the pharmacy manager in assuring profitable operations of the pharmacy department. You'll also implement audit and quality control procedures, identify, evaluate, and interpret prescriptions, perform initial verification of prescriptions into the Select RX Pharmacy Operating System, You'll receive new prescription orders, consult with patients regarding their prescriptions, and consult with any prescriber, nurse, or other healthcare professionals or authorized agent. So you must be able to possess the ability to work with automated prescription systems. You must possess good organizational and time management skills. You can demonstrate appropriate written and oral communication skills. You have a high degree of interpersonal and organizational skills. You have the ability to effectively interact with all levels of management, associates, clients, and general public, and you're proficient in reading, writing, and speaking. So as far as education and experience, you need to have a Bachelor of Science or a Pharmacy degree, as well as a knowledge and understanding of Pioneer RX clinical software system. And of course, you must hold or be willing to obtain a license by the State Board of Pharmacy to participate pharmacy in the state you're working in. So this is the sixth remote pharmacy job I have. This one will pay between $52 and $58 per hour. If this one interests you, check out the link below for job number six. All right, there you go. We just went over six remote pharmacy related jobs. I hope at least one of these works out for you. And leave a comment below. And let me know which job you're going for or if there's something else I can find for you. Good luck to all of you who apply. And as always, thank you so, so much for visiting and I'll meet you on the next job lead.